What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal. Hop back onto that rank double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are rocking out with yet another Kieran White team. I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are probably sitting there like, yo, Gene, didn't you just play Kieran White? Yes, we did. But check out this team right here. We're rocking out with Kieran White, but this time with Scissor and Ditto. This team has been going all over the rank double ladder. So I want to show it off and showcase it for you guys in today's video. So if you guys are hyped, Make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel already. Seriously, it goes a long way. I thank everybody who supports me as a content creator. But getting started on this team, we have Kieran White over here, Dragon and Ice type with that Turbo Boy's ability and the Choice Scarf as item. So we're going to be bringing in this Pokemon. He's going to be able to outspeed and do some massive damage all around. We got Icy Wind for speed control, Freeze Drive for our stab move, and it's super effective up against water Pokemon such as Kyogre. Then we got Draco Meter for hard hitting stab move and Earth Power for our coverage move. Right next to him is one of my favorite Pokemons used in the rank double ladder. I know you guys feel the same way too. He's just such a fun Pokemon to use all around. And that is Scizor over here. Technician as his ability and Choice Band as his item. I think that's his best ability, hands down. And then using this item on it is my favorite one to use. The Choice Band makes this Pokemon hit 10 times harder and makes him take out Pokemon left and right. Dual Wing Beat, Bullet Punch, Super Power, and U-Turn for his moveset. Gotta love it. Love everything about this Pokemon. Cannot wait to use him in these battles. Middle left, we got the one and only Amoongus. Great support mod over here. Regenerator, but as its item, we're throwing a little curveball over here with the Rocky Helmet. Love the Rocky Helmet. I feel like it is just such an underrated item. It's just there. It throws people off, and it does actually a decent amount of damage up against physical attackers. We got Grass Knot, Protect, and then the typical Rage Powder and Spore moveset for this Amoongus. Middle right is Ditto. Don't need to say anything else about it. It has that focus edge. That's the only thing I have to say about it. It transforms. That's all it does. And it goes off of whatever Pokemon it's going up against. Bottom left, another great support mod, Incineroar over here. And the moveset is a little bit different than most typical Incineroars. It's rocking U-turn instead of parting shot. But then it's got that typical Darkest Lariat, Fake Out, and Flare Blitz. Same thing with the ability. It is Intimidate. And the item this time is actually the Soul Fest. So a little bit different of an Incineroar here. But typically the same thing. It's going to do the same thing in the battle. Final Pokemon on the team is going to be this Landers. I've been loving this Landers ever since this new series hit. It's been used a lot more. You never see the other Landers anymore. The uh, the other form with the Intimidate, you're always seeing this one with Sheer Force and the Life Form. It's just so good. I've been loving it so much, so I cannot wait to show off this Pokemon yet again. Rock Slide, Earth Power for Stab, Protect, and Sludge Bomb for our final move. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? You already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's try to hop on that ranked double ladder and showcase this Kieran White, Scizor, and Ditto team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into our first battle for today's video. Trying to get started on a strong note with a W. We're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team alongside with Ndidi, Volcarona, Michelle, Regilecki, and that Defiant Galarian Zapdos. So definitely got to watch out for that Defiant considering we are rocking in Cinemore with Intimidate. But how should I go into this one? How should I play it? Um, hmm. I'm thinking of bringing Incineroar, but at the same time, like I said, Defiant is such an option. It's such a bad option, considering I have Darkest Lariat, which could be great up against a few of these Pokemon, but it's just like, mm, I don't know. I want it so bad, but at the same time, it's just like, dude, I can't really do it. I can't do it. I might actually go into Kieran White just as a lead, even though we're Choice Scarf. We can kind of get rocking with him. I'm with him all day. He takes some speed control, so I'm going to bring bring him out here. Uh, Scissor, we got to watch out for, considering he has an NDD, which protects from... Uh, First turn priorities. I'm gonna lead these two. Bring Scissor in the back and same thing with Incineroar. Rock out from him. I'm with that all day. He's probably gonna lead the Ndidi. He's probably gonna lead the Ndidi because Ndidi has a lot of control with the terrain. That's one bad part about this team is like the terrain control. Is there's no terrain. There is no terrain. So that's the same argument I have with weather. It's like, dude, if you do not have a weather Pokemon or a terrain Pokemon, you cannot grab control considering Dynamax is not a thing. So it's been just like a huge turn of events for uh for people who just started playing competitive in this uh, game, like me. Like, I'm just so used to Dynamax, you know? I never played it beforehand. But he ends up going with the uh, Regilecki and the Shadow Rider Kyogre. So we could have actually led my Incineroar. But I really want to go into. I really want to go into Incineroar. But we could, I could see an Astral Barrage. I could start slowing down with my Icy Wind. He's probably going to... I think he's going to hard swap the uh, Regilecki here. With him posing a threat, so I might double down into the... Uh, the Shadow Rider. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I can see a hard swap or protect coming in from Regilecki all day. Let's see what we do. Yo, you just see that Lando go like this? Yo, we need to whip. That dude's buff, baby. He's buff. He's super buff. 
But I, I can definitely see a Protect or Hard Swap coming out from Regilecki. So I think we just double down on the Shadow Rider Kyler. So we kind of get all from here. I'm hoping it's a Hard Swap. Because we're Icy winning. So whoever he swaps in could get a Speed Drop. Which I would really like. Unless it's the Bird. Unless it's the Bird. Because the Bird would be tough, dude. It would be super effective on him, right? I think so. It would be super effective, but then he also gets to find. He's just going to Volt Switch Pivot here. Which I'm cool with. I'm cool with the Volt Switch Pivot. And I think he is going to go into the Bird. Thinking of going for an EP over into him. And I'm totally cool with that. But the Defiant is going to pop. But then the Speed Drop is more important. So we should be able to have Speed. And now he's going to go straight into Indeedy. Straight into Indeedy. Indeed, dubitably, he's going to come out here. So follow me. He's got to watch out for that. Maybe we can pick up a KO here on the Shadow Rider. I'm going to be looking a little tough. But hopefully we can do it. Hopefully we can do it. There's a nice little Icy Wind. Speed Drop coming in hot. Loving it. Which means my Lando should be able to outspeed now. If we can bring him down to, like, a lower level of HP, we can take him out with an Icy Wind. See, like that. So, Icy Wind will be able to take him out there. Astral Barrage is going to fly through here, but I really don't see him picking up any KOs. Let's see. So, no KOs coming out there. Icy Wind, definitely drop him. Definitely drop an Icy Wind here. And then we can just go into a uh, another Earth Power. Another lovely little Earth Power here. So not a bad start for us if we can get rid of this uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex. Maybe he goes for a follow me, maybe he doesn't. He's going to end up protecting the Shadow Rider Calyx, which I guess is kind of smart. Kind of smart. Icy Wind's going to pop. We're going to deal a little bit of damage, and I guess this thing's going for an Expanding Force here. I guess he's going for an Expanding Force. So there's that Icy Wind damage, and can EP take out? EP might be able to take out this thing, which would be huge. Which would just be huge for us. Get the guy the same. Which we do, yo. That's a big KO for us. That is a huge KO, because now we're sitting here with Icy Wind. Um... I'm trying to think, what Pokemon can come out here and pick up a KO onto my Kiram? The Regilecki can't, which is great. Then I just double down into him, so right now we're looking pretty good for our first battle. First battle's looking pretty solid for your boy. Like I said, Regilecki probably not going to come out here, right? He is going to end up bringing out Regilecki. Okay. Like, I'm cool with it, because again, like, Icy Wind picks up a KO, and he's not going to be able to KO me with the Regilecki. So then at this point, I just double down. Well, not just double down, I just, uh, well, yeah, technically I double down into Regilecki. Really liking this, yo. Really liking this lead. Great lead for me, yo. The Icy Wind Speed Control with the Choice Scarf is really, really good. Speed Control is just everything. It's it's really big in this game. And since we took it out from his, uh, Regilecki, it was a great turn for us. But this is how we're going to go down here. He's going to be able to drop out my shell, which has a fake out, so he's probably going to protect that Regilecki, right? No, we're just going to go straight into a Thunderbolt, which, again, we should be able to eat up all day. Yeah, I told you he wasn't being able to take us out. Icy Wind's going to poke. Bang, there's Icy Wind, which will take off Sash if there's a Sash on Regilecki. And more importantly, get the speed drop from both of them. And then Landers is going to come at, out here, be able to drop an EP. EP is going to take out Regilecki, no problem. Get him out of my game, yo. We don't want him here. We don't want him here, yo. This Wombo combo right here. But what I definitely see happening here is going to be a, uh, a fake out onto the Kiram. Right, a fake out onto the Kiram and then into a uh, easy Astro Barrage. If I had to guess, right? If I had to guess, that's exactly what's happening. That would be exactly what is happening. I mean, yeah, you can fake out my Kiram. I'm just going to protect my uh, Lando. Cannot protect my Kiram because he's choice. Which kind of stinks. Would have been a great turn to go for a double protect because we know exactly what he's doing. Oh, he's not, yo. He's just straight up protecting. Okay. Okay, yo. Okay, I'm too, okay. I thought he had the easy play. I thought he had the easy play, y'all. I'm with that all day. It's slow down this my shot. Not good for, oh, there's the terrain. I should have realized that. Should have realized he couldn't go for the fake out. So there's that. Some nice lovely damage. And we bring them both down the red. Loving it. Loving it. I think he just takes out Kiram here. Close combat comes through. Kiram goes down. We're bringing out Scissor to clean up this battle. But I can just see him canceling out left and right. So what is a uh, thought process, I guess, is like... To take out Kiram just so no one's faster than him. Oh, this thing's life warp. Get him out of here. Yeah, that's GG's. That's going to be GG's. But I think his thought process would was be take out the Kiram because that's the only thing faster than the Calyx. And is trying to Astro Barrage his way to victory. Which isn't a bad little thought process considering Astro Barrage is huge damage all around. But we have Scissor in the back end with first turn priority bullet punch. That's going to be GG's all day. It's going to be GG's all day. This guy should just cancel the battle. You don't want to go up against this Scissor, dude. Scissor is bad news. He will bring you bad news. The force to be reckoned with, dude. There's the cancel battle. 1-0 to get this video started. We can hop to our second and look to go back to back.
Time to go back to back here in battle number two. We're going up against a Groudon team right here. And if you guys haven't checked out my most recent Groudon video, we used Groudon and Maracus, and that team was phenomenal. We grabbed ourselves a perfect record, so go check out that video. Leave a like on it. Show some support over there. Definitely a fun team to use. Definitely go rent it and try it out for yourself because it is very, very strong in my opinion. You can push high ranks with it. But like I said, we're going up against a Groudon team. He also has the Arcanine, the Amoongus, the Mandibuzz, and the Latios, both Tailwind Pokemon. And then the final Pokemon is going to be Faramosa, who is, I think, one of the fastest in this game. It might be the fastest Pokemon in the game. So I might want to go with Kiram just for speed control. It worked so good in that first battle, so I'm thinking of doing it. 158 with Choice Scarf. Could potentially outspeed, so I'm with it all day. I'm going to lead the Kiram. He has no terrain, which is pretty solid for us. Uh, could go, Dude, Lando is just great. Lando is just great in most instances, so I think I'm going to bring uh, Lando again. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go Lando. He does have a few physical attackers. So I might want to go Incineroar. I'm definitely going to bring Scizor and Incineroar. Loving it. Loving it. Boom, 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 boom. Let's just end it there. Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it all day. We could bring in Ditto. Ditto could have been a cool pick. Gotta bring him in in third battle at least, you know? Throw Ditto out there, try to have some fun with it. Let's see how we do in this battle right here. I'm trying to think who he might lead. Probably a Tailwind Pokemon. And if that's the case, like like I said, I can just Icy Wind and start like dialing down their speed. And eventually their Tailwind will just cancel out. We can just be buzzing from there. So I'm with it all day, baby. I'm with it all day. He's gotta lead a Tailwind Pokemon. Latios or Mandibuzz have to be coming out. That's a hundo percent. You cannot tell me that they're not coming out. We have no trick room mods. As he could realize that. He could just be like, yeah, I'm gonna take speed control. But he, what he doesn't realize is the Icy Wind. The Icy Wind. Imagine if this team had Regilecki, we should go E-Web Icy Wind all day. That'd be hilarious. But he ends up going in with these two. I'm cool with all day. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that because, again, we're going to be able to outspeed. And I get, the, I get the hit up Pokemon that I want to. The Drought is out and about. Drought is chilling here. I'm a little scared of that crowd on the drought with a heat crash coming in hot. What do I do? I do outspeed it. I go for freeze drives all day. Icy Wind is super effective. I'm thinking I'm just Icy Winding. And maybe just dropping an Earth Power onto the ground on. I might double down on the ground on. But again, I could see a protect come out. But more, I think he's going to go for a heat crash probably. I'm going to double down and I'm going to start taking speed. I probably should just freeze dry. That probably should be my play. Just drop a heavy freeze dry onto him and choice into that. I just love the speed control aspect. Here. He's gonna end up with draw. Oh, that's huge. Withdraw on the Arcanine. I really like that turn. Who's he gonna rock into? He's gonna rock into Mandibus. Thinking I'm going for the EP over in him, which I am not. I am not doing that. Icy wind dropping all around. Getting off some nice damage. Yeah, dude. If we would have, if we would have freeze dried into the Groudon, that would have been easy KO here. That would have been easy KO, because that would have brought him down to, like, low yellow, maybe red. So, let's see. EP comes out here. And EP doesn't work anyway. Beautiful turn. Beautiful first turn, dude. This lead is just dominating. This lead is so good. Everyone thinks Kiram's just, just coming out here to do mad damage with Draco Meter. Nah, yo. I'm just using him for Icy Winds. Icy Wind is where it's at. So, again, we're going to be able to drop yet another Icy Wind. Start slowing down, and then... Good Rock Slide. I could double down with a Rock Slide. Maybe look for flinches, but what do I want to do here? I think we're just going to double down into Moongus here. Moongus, let's get after you, dude. Let's get after Moongus here. Because Spore's probably trying to get out here. He's trying, probably trying to Spore here. We'll be able to Icy Wind. Get off some lovely amount of damage. Two super effective uh, moves there. I'm getting after it like that. I love me some Icy Wind. Love me some Icy Wind. EP's coming out here. Definitely see a Tailwind into Spore, right? Oh, dude, almost with the KO. Tailwind coming out here. There it is. And probably Spore onto my boy. He's going to Spore. Okay, so there's the Spore. Um, I think my Lando still outspeeds us in Moongus. I think that's. I think we're fine with that. So I think by going into here and dropping, switching over to Rock Slide, Rock Slide should be able to pick up the KO easily onto the Moongus and probably onto that Mandibuzz if we can get it off. But he's going to end up protecting the Moongus. I'm totally cool with that. And what's he going to go into with Mandibuzz? So by him protecting, that's just wasting turns of my sleep. Rockside comes out here, gets blocked, and Mandibuzz goes down. Yo, we're still outspeeding the tailwind, bro. Icy Wind, doing dirty work. Doing dirty work. We bring that thing down the red. He gets one more turn left in him. And he's going to roost. Oh, man, dude. Thing popping off with a roost. This thing roosting, baby. He's roosting. I'm cool with that. He might, he's probably going to roost again. I'm just going to do the same exact turn. The same exact turn. 
I could see a swap coming in for the Moongus. He might just want to look at what move I was trying to go into. Because the Moongus does have Regenerator on, so if it swaps, it is going to get some HP. Let's see his play. He's going to end up swap. He just want to look at the, the move. Which I'm cool with it. There's a swap. He's going to bring out Arcanine. Arcanine. We already knew this one was coming out here. And Intimidate's going to fly through here, but on my special attackers. I mean, this move is physical. And my boy wakes up. And my boy wakes up. So with this Icy Wind and this Rock Slide, we should be able to take out Mandibuzz. Maybe, maybe not. Because the Intimidate did come out here. Intimidate is rocking. Let's see how this one plays out. Going in with a Rock Slide. Give me the KO. Get that Mandibuzz out of my game. That dang Intimidate. Please don't tell me to six Roosting again. Alright, he's going straight for a Fat Boy. That's fine. Dude, this lead. This lead is just something else. This lead is just something else, man. It's not losing. It is not losing. This lead's just not losing. You lead these two Pokemon, they are counteracting on so many different Pokemon. Because the typing is so versatile on these guys as well. You got the Dragon and Ice. <laughs> Dude turned off his console. But like I was saying, you have the Dragon and Ice, and then you have the Earth and uh, Flying over there with the uh, Poison move, which is amazing. So you can just cover a lot and do a lot of damage. But like I said, this guy ends up quitting the battle. Turn off his console. We take battle number two. In the first two battles, we legit just been using Landers and Kieran White to just sweep everything. Hopefully we can get in some other Pokemon. I definitely want to bring in Ditto. I'm definitely bringing in Scizor once again. I don't even care what team he has. I'm trying to showcase these Pokemon for you guys, but definitely got to show off the Scizor and the Ditto. 100%. 100% got to do it in this third battle, but this guy's a pretty cool team. A Garatina team, which I still have to get my hands on. So if you guys have any restricted mods that I haven't played yet, send me your rental code teams in my uh, Instagram DMs. There's a link down in the description below, and the name is right below my face cam. So go follow me over there. Send me your rental codes, and there's a high chance if I haven't used that restricted mod yet, that I'm probably going to be using it on the channel. So we're going up against Garatina team. He also has the Lando, the Rillaboom, Entei, Galarian Weezing, and Suicune. Um, dude, dude, this lead would have would have been popping. It would have been popping for us. I'm still gonna do it. I think. I still think I'm gonna do it. I just think it's too good. And then bring Scizor and Ditto, which I'm really, really like. I actually might lead the Ditto. What does Jeans wanna do here? I'm digging it, dude. I cannot just not lead those two Pokemon, man. They're just buzzing. They're just doing too good. And I just, I don't see him sweeping again, though. Especially up against this team, I just don't see him sweeping up again. But I see him doing some work and kind of getting the control of the battle for our back end two Pokemon to come in and play. But I think once we get uh, the lead going good, I think Scissor can come in the back end and pretty much win the game. And same thing with Ditto. Ditto's really get it, great at controlling because he's legit going up against a 1v1 of the same Pokemon. So I really do like that. But here's the lead. Beautiful. Totally fine with it. Turbo Blaze is popping. We just drop another Icy Wind. I could go into a Freeze Dry, but Icy Wind is... I think we go into a Freeze Dry here. I see him potentially swapping the, uh, the Kiram. Or not the Kiram. I see potentially swapping the Garatina. I'm going to deal some damage. I'm going to actually double down on Suicune. Suicune might be going for a Tailwind and Protect might be coming out for Garatina. Yeah. Okay. Oh, alright. Say less, man. Say less. Say less, yo. We'll go for that protect. I'm cool with it all day. Freeze drive popping out here. Getting off some big damage. And then EP is going to be able to fly over here. And EP take out. So close. So close. Oh, he's just going for Icy Wind's Pika Tool. So Icy Wind is popping. It is popping. Uh. Does he swap the Garatina? If that's the case, I might hard swap my Kira. Let me just go here. Let me just protect. I can see Garatina uh, coming after my Lando. Let's see. Oh, I can see him swapping. It's an either or for Garatina. I might want to get out Ditto here. If I can get out Ditto for a Kiram swap, he can turn this weekend and we can take his Ice Wind, or even if he has Tailwind, that could be big for us. Hmm, the thought process. The thought process here. Protect coming out from Lando. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see it, baby. We try popping out here. We still outspeed yo. Choice Scarf, gotta love it. Gotta love Choice Scarf. You know, we'll take out Sweeping. Huge play there. Huge play there. So, we're not gonna be able to transform with Ditto with that. And Shadow Force is coming into 
That's a two turn. Uh, two move turn, right? Or two turn move. It is, okay. So we shadow dipping. I totally forget what that does. That might hit through protects. I know Phantom Force does, but I totally forget what that move really, really does. If he's gonna end up going into that, I might end up just hard swapping into a Ditto. Get my choice back. Hard swapping into Ditto and then just Earth Power and across. I'm with that. Let's get our Ditto out here. Having our choice guard back is gonna be great. Ditto's gonna pop here. He's gonna be all blue, all shiny, looking spiffy. And what's he gonna go? He's just gonna, we're just gonna imposter into that end play, right? Yes, sir! <laughs> Love me some Ditto, man. Stone Edge coming through here. No way! No way, bro! This thing is Stone Edges? What you mean? What you mean, Shadow Force coming out here? Dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Get out of my face. Get out of my face. This is dang game. Alright, we're bringing back out our Choice Mod. We're gonna be able to start Icy Winning out here. Having Speed Control. Yo, dude, get out of my face. This thing's dropping a Stone Edge into me. Poor Ditto. Turbo Blaze is rocking. Um, we do have Crunch. We do have Crunch, which is great. But I think I think we gotta get after this guy. I think we gotta get after this guy. Start slowing him down. Make sure my boys can outspeed. We're gonna roll from here. Shadow Sneak. Oh, you son of a biscuit! You son of a biscuit, dude! This Garatina is rocking. Love this Garatina, dude. My Ditto, man. Ditto was such a nice fight too. Of course, he's rocking Stone Edge, yo. We had some great moves to go up against these guys. We had our Stone Edge. We had our Crunch. We would have been rocking out. There's all this. I think another Stone Edge is probably going to pop up against me, right? Is that his play? Stone Edge, yeah. He's edging on the stones, man. We're able to eat, which is great. In that case, we have to bring out the boy. The boy. The boy here. Dude, I can't believe he got rid of my Ditto that way. That was our turning tide moment. Hmm. They're going to superpower. But superpower is really not our play. Dual wing beat could be our play. It's either dual wing beat or bullet punch. I think we have speed, so dual wing beat is probably going to be our play. We really have to start getting rid of this Entei. So I'm just going to start icy winding down. And I cannot choice to a different move now. I'm going to end up withdrawing the Entei, which is great. It's great. We're going into our flying move here. Roll boot. Oh. <laughs> Give me that free KO, baby. That's free KO. Icy Wind's gonna be able to slow him down. He could be going for a Shadow Sneak, but Shadow Sneak shouldn't be able to take me out. Icy Wind's gonna drop. Garatina, of course, avoids it. Which is a little whack, but he is still minus one, but I really want that damage onto him. Later, Roll Boom. Later, Roll Boom. Dude, I really want that damage on that Garatina. We get a crit. He's probably freaking out, but he was dead anyway because the dual wing beat is gonna fly through here and take it out my face. I love the noise for that. Just whoosh, out my face. Dead. See you later. This hit one time. He's gonna actually go for a, a dragon glow. Okay, so see you later, dude. See you later. We probably should have targeted down that Garakina turn one. Now we're sitting in such a terrible spot, and that's pretty much GG. He's gonna have that Entei ready to roll, and poor Scissor is gonna get ripped up by a Flare Blitz. Poor Scissor. Poor little Skizzies. There's the Entei coming back out here, and solid battle. Here. We definitely should have targeted down the Garakina way earlier in that game. He did protect turn one, which we kind of read. But I probably should have tried to get off like a, a Draco Meteor at that point instead of Iso or Icy Winning. Because if we could have got rid of him, I think we could have been thriving pretty well here. But Dual Wing Beat is going to fly through here. I guess we'll go after Garatina and try to get off damage. But this thing is super, super bulky. They're both doing like mean damage on the main. Yeah, see, he outspeeds me as well. The Sacred Fires can come through here. Be four times super effective. Pick up that KO and grab himself a win in battle number three. But hey, 2 1 for today's video. Not bad. Got to show off this team and dominate with it as well. If you guys want a fun team to use on the rank ladder that is still really strong at the same time, this team is for you guys. Had a blast playing this team. You got that Kieran White and Landers combo that we got to show off huge in the first two battles. Just dominates. Easy to play with. Easy to grab some wins with. And then you also have that Ditto and the Scissor who are just Pokemon that are so strong yet so fun to use on the rank ladder. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.